If it's really quiet, you can hear Adam cry. Cartoons, 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 cartoons. Good day, gentle people. It's your favorite, Mr. Foy2. Welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I made a prediction that Leo would cry about cartoons. And oh boy, did he. But before I show you, I have to welcome my latest patron, Ed Roberts. Thank you very much for your support. If you also want to support this channel, check the description for Patreon or YouTube membership. Last week I highlight one of the many reasons the globe earth theory is quite frankly ridiculous. No you didn't. You only showed us how little you understand and how much you lie. In that instance I cited timeanddate.com's day and night map, world map, showing the areas in sunlight and of course the areas in dark. That he did. It's just a bit weird that if you talk about this picture that you do not mention twilight whatsoever. And then I showed a globe like we're seeing on our screen right now. And again, the sun is not 24,635 kilometers away. But if I stretch Google Earth to its maximum zoom of about 64,000 kilometers, we can already see more of the Earth's surface. In fact, that was the picture from timeanddate.com, showing the sun's position above North Africa, showing the areas in sunlight, pretty much most of the Earth as we can see. Oh yeah, that's right, you started using that picture. And then I showed the globe Earth, in this instance Google Earth, which is exactly the same as your Go, you, your globe you can buy in any shop. Sorry, can we hear that again? Go, you, your globe, go, you, your no, globe. the other part. Google Earth, which is exactly the same as your, go, you, your globe you can buy in any shop. Okay, so Google Earth is accepted. And of course you can see the obvious problem from the Google Earth image where I've lined it up, showing North Africa in the middle of our screen. And of course it's plain to see when we come from the time and date map to the globe that it would be impossible for the areas that are lit up at this point in time last Friday if the earth was a ball. Ignorance and misunderstanding is not evidence Adam. It is perfectly possible and you know it. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. Let's continue. But the reality denying globe pushing clowns <laughs> can't let their delusion lie. And isn't it ironic? They have to fight to for now and literally have to make themselves look fucking and I'm at peace with it now insane in doing so don't you think as they've supposedly debunked this 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 doesn't need any debunking it's perfectly fine to represent day and night this way but wait and see what they've served up and here's the video in question titled Leo and Banjo dear oh dear this globe believer is going to cite a globe being lit up the areas lit up just like time and date showed us. Okay Adam, so you provided us with an image, someone else uses that to demonstrate something, that should be fine, right? The problem is, we don't get a practical demonstration showing a single light source lighting a globe, lighting up the areas that time and date last week showed us were lit. No, 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 no. <laughs> we get a cartoon. An image that you provided. As so-called evidence or proof. Spoiler alert, it was not evidence and it was not proof. It was pure a demonstration that it, the impossible day of the globe is completely possible. Play it from here. Watch this, Tosh. already you can see the problem problem what problem North America Canada gone a lot of Russia gone South America most of it gone you would think that Adam has never seen a ball in his life Adam if you're close to a ball you will see less than 50% if you're further away you will see half of the ball but 
you will not see the surfaces on the side. That's how it works. That's how simple it is. <laughs> what are these guys thinking? Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? <laughs> But then he rotates his ra his cartoon ball round. Rather than cite a practical reference using a globe and a torch that we can all test and verify for ourselves. Do you really need a demonstration that a far enough light source can illuminate half of a ball? Not that we need to. Okay, so we don't need to do that. So what is left? Take a globe, draw the terminator line from datentype.com and you will see that it fits a great circle perfectly. So there is really no issue at all, Adam. It's just your imagination going wild again. Or are you lying? This should be obvious for anyone with even half a brain. That is enough Adam for today. I will now play Just Lay's animation that Adam was showing on screen. After that I'll come back with Daniel Pratt. Okay, this is just because I don't have the patience and the editing skills to go through it. But if someone like P Brain or you know anyone else wants to destroy the asinine argument of the underside of clouds are lit up because the sun's going underneath the horizon and it's below them and lighting them from underneath. That is a boring topic. Why did I choose this video again? Ah, yeah, Pratt deleted that video. What is he hiding? It's asinine. And I can easily prove it. I'm going to leave a link to a children's video that discusses the laws of reflection and makes it very clear that the angle of incidence, in other words, the angle of the sun reflecting off of the world's largest mirror which happens to be the salt flats in Bolivia when they're covered with water. You needed a children's video to understand that finally. And still you didn't apply it correctly. Let's see. You can find many images that show the undersides of clouds being brightly lit up. And the sun is nowhere near setting. It can be well above you in the sky. And if you follow the same angle of incidence, the angle of reflection is always equal and opposite to the angle of incidence. So if I'm filming here and the sun is directly above me, but maybe five, 10 degrees behind me, then I can easily show the clouds 10 degrees in front of me will be brightly lit. This is fact. This is real science. So whenever there's uh, underside lit clouds anywhere near snow or bodies of water, you know, things that reflect sunlight, the clouds at the equal and opposite angle of incidence will be lit underneath. It has nothing to do with the sun going behind a fake, non-existent globe horizon and lighting them from underneath. Daniel, let me be honest with you. Your explanation sounds very plausible. But it doesn't explain any of those pictures I just showed that were kindly provided to me by Farmer's Boy, Peck, Science It Out and Alan Evans. Those are simply impossible on a flat earth. So not only did you not understand the issue, 
you also fail to provide a fitting explanation for the phenomenon we talk about. Is that why you deleted your video? And if you're going to claim, well, we've got pictures of the sun setting and still the clouds are lit. That's not equal. Well, if the sun's coming into a mountain and reflecting off the snow. Yeah, Daniel, there's not always a mountain in the neighborhood. Believe me, I know. I'm from the Netherlands. It's going to light the undersides of the mountain. I just assume you mean the undersides of the clouds there. So if the sun's light, if the sun's setting... And that's your issue. The sun cannot set on a flat earth. Boom! Welcome to the globe. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video enough to hit that like button. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button as well. In the description you'll find more information how to find me on Discord and Twitter and also how to support me. This has been Mr. Foyer 2, out. Don't panic. This is real science. This is true science.